Heartland Football Friday, sponsored by EBOMD. Hi again, everyone. It's a district semifinal night on Heartland Football Friday. What do you say we get started with a lot of highlights, a lot of action? We begin in the Class 6, the big boys, District 1 semifinals, Jackson hosting Lindbergh, talking about a playoff atmosphere at the pit. You can see the big crowd out there, and it, it kind of sets the tone, doesn't it? And how about the coaching matchup as well? Lindbergh coached by former Jackson star and Cape Central coach Nathan Norman. Indians first year coach Ryan Nesbitt done a great job. Eight wins coming in. Lindbergh, though, recovers the onside kick, and Jackson's D comes through with the sack. Just beat the man and make the tackle. It's as simple as that. You beat the man and you make the tackle. That's what they did. And then Adrian Fox says, you guys did your job, we'll do our job. He passes this one to Blaine Harris, tucks it in the left hand, gets some more yards, cuts it over, and then Fox says, I think I'm gonna call my own number. He goes up and he goes in. Jackson with that TD talking about a momentum builder and they weren't finished. You got a guy by the name of Jalen Hampton. He cuts one way, then the other way and well, he'll end up getting that football for the touchdown coming up right here. He's just hard to stop, and he's in the end zone. Jackson wins 41 to 13. The Indians play at Seckman for the district title a week from tonight. All right, switching gears of the Class 5 District 1 semis, Cape Central at home against two-time defending state champion St. Mary Southside. Some big plays in this game as usual at the Jungle, St. Mary Southside has won back-to-back -back state titles. So that's a good football team. They moved up classes. That hasn't been real kind to them. David Leonard to Malaga Green. Then Cape's defense comes up with the fumble. You gotta make big plays in the playoffs. And they come up with that ball. Then you give it to your hammer, right? They're gonna make a mistake. We're gonna hammer it right at you. Keyshawn Boyd, he goes in. Watch him ramble and ramble and ramble. Hey, who wants to tackle this guy? Nobody. They did tackle him, but Boyd would have the last laugh. He'll go into the end zone right here, a touchdown for Cape Central, and they would go on and get the win. 21 to six over St. Mary's Southside. So who will they play? Let's find out. Farmington at Popper Bluff, and we'll see what's gonna happen right now. Popper Bluff. QB Jay Edmondson, the Romeo Wontor, so many big plays out of these guys. But keep this in mind, this one stopped just short of the goal line, and that would be painful for Popper Bluff because Farmington would actually come up with the football right there. That one hurts. Then Farmington with some big yardage of their own, but again, a game of big plays. And this was one of the biggest of all. Farmington, the block, the touchdown, and Farmington gets the win, 28 to 21. They move on, and again, we'll play at Cape Central. We move on to uh, talking about a, a semifinal in Class Two District One, Carruthersville playing at Valley Catholic. Let's head out to the city of St. Genevieve for the highlights out here. Ryan Guest, the pass to Sammy Bryant, and Sammy can flat out run. He put some moves on. The only thing that stopped him, it looked like, was the, the turf right there, right? It happens. Then they do the little flip to Avion Moten for good yardage. He had a great defensive play last week. But if you know anything about Valley Catholic, and you probably do, they are a playoff team. Alex Bayex, he goes in and scores, and Valley would go on and roll in this game. By the time it's done, 56 to 14. Folks, don't go anywhere. We got our game of the night and we're packed with action coming up in round two. It's a busy night of Heartland Football Friday, one of the busiest segments we'll have right after this.